Want an insanely good looking electric car with a range of 1,100 kilometers? And for a price that you can actually afford? Well, this might be it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. You're watching The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all the new subscribers. There's been a lot of you recently. I know a lot of you have come over from Sandy Munro's channel. Big shout out. Thank you, Sandy. And make sure if you haven't come over from Sandy Munro's channel that you check out Sandy Munro's electric car channel. Obviously, he is the guru of gurus. And I wanted to say a big welcome back to everyone else, all those who have been here for the long haul. I mean, what's the long haul? Seven months now we've been around for. But over that period of seven months, we have made more than 650 videos. So make sure you check out some of those videos. There's a lot of information there about all the different new cars that are coming to market, many of which I'm sure you haven't heard of. Now, back in April, the car company Hoson created the car, the electric car company called Nita. And to be honest, no one knew a lot about them and didn't think too much about them. And then they brought out this amazing looking electric sedan at the 2021 Shanghai Auto Show. And everyone thought, yeah, yeah, that's nice. It's a concept. It's not going to look like that in the real world. And well, you know, eight months later, they announced the real version. And guess what? It looks exactly the same as the concept. Frankly, it looks sensational. I love the fact that most car makers in China don't do what these Japanese automakers are doing. These Japanese automakers, they bring out these amazing looking concepts and you go, wow, that's cool. I want to buy that car. Yeah, that's awesome. And then quietly six months, a year, a year and a half later, they bring out the, the official real version and it looks nothing, nothing like the concept, nothing. Well, the awesome thing about this vehicle is actually Nita is planning on bringing its electric vehicles globally. Now, I don't know exactly which countries yet, but they have announced a series of different ASEAN countries, including Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, all the, a bunch of other countries all down there in Southeast Asia. But apparently they do plan on selling their electric cars globally. So you never know. You may be able to buy one of these within a period of time that could be sooner than you think. Now. Nita actually officially started selling vehicles around about the start of the year, and their sales have been incredibly impressive for a startup. Now, in February, they sold 2,000 electric cars. In March, they sold 3,200. In April, they sold 4,000. In May, they sold 4,500. In June, they sold 5,100. In July, they sold 6,000. In August, they sold 6,600. And in September, they sold 7,700. Then in October, they sold 8,100. And you see a trend happening here. And in November, they sold 10,000, which is an increase of 372% versus their mediocre sales last year when they first actually officially started as a company. As you can see, this is a brand to be taken seriously. Whilst all these legacy automakers are saying, oh, woe is us, we can't sell electric cars, we can't sell even normal cars, we can't build enough of them, we don't have semiconductor chips and the supply chain's been devastated, oh, it's terrible, oh, we can't even make any cars for you to buy. And guess what's happening during that period of time? All these electric car makers in China and Tesla as well, and probably Rivian and Lucid soon, are saying, well, that's okay, we can make a cars for you. That's fine. You can take some of our cars. And guess what? In the process of the last 12 months, electric car sales have increased about 300%. And what's happening over at all these Japanese automakers in China? Well, they're all, their sales are all declining and they're being disrupted right now. And Nita is one of the companies doing the disruption. Now, Nita makes a range of three different budget electric cars. And you can get a pretty damn good car from Nita for about 12,000 US dollars with about 450 kilometers of range. I'm talking a proper sized vehicle, a bit bigger than a Toyota Corolla for that price. You'd have to think hard about whether or not you'd pay $30,000 for a Toyota Corolla or $14,000 for a fully electric Nita that's actually bigger and has far better technology on the inside. Now this vehicle is really upping the ante for Nita. I've got to say, I absolutely love the design of this car. It looks sensational. And I don't know what's happening lately. It's so strange, isn't it? Why is it that these electric car companies and, you know, I mean, Volvo, Polestar, Nita, and a bunch of others are making these leap motor 
They're making these sensational looking vehicles. I mean, look, Lucid as well, they're doing it. There's another new electric car startup in America. There's some amazing looking electric car designs. Why is it that they can make some really good looking cars? But Legacy Auto, with their standardized vehicles, they just look derivative and boring. There's just nothing exciting about them. Now, this vehicle features split headlights, retractable door handles, and a rear light bar. And there's no mistaking what era this car is from, despite these common elements. It's from the new modern era. Now, Nita are targeting an end of 2022 release for this vehicle. The Nita S has a 0.23 CD. It's fairly aerodynamic. And it measures in at 4.8 meters long, 1.8 meters wide, and 1.53 meters high. Has a wheelbase of 2,768 millimeters. The dimensions are very similar to the Xpeng P7, though the wheelbase is a little shorter and it's a bit bigger than a Tesla Model 3. In fact, it's sort of halfway between a Model 3 and a Model S. Now, it's going to come with two different variants. One of those will have a range of 1,100 kilometers, the other one will have a range of 800 kilometers, and they'll do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 3.9 seconds. Now, apparently, it even passes the moose test at a respectable 80 kilometers an hour. That's about 50 miles an hour. While the Tesla Model 3 did it at 83 kilometers an hour, only three kilometers an hour faster. Now, this vehicle is actually developed with Huawei, and it will come equipped with two LiDARs, five millimeter wave radars, 12 ultrasonic sensors, 13 cameras, and a wide range of positioning tech. Supposedly, the tech on board will allow for level four autonomous driving, but I don't think that's really going to happen. Maybe level three. Let's, let's just hope for level three. Now, what I want to know is, are you excited about this car? If this car was coming, say, to your state, your country, would you consider buying one? Let me know in the comments section below. I think I would, even though I don't want to buy a sedan. But this thing is pretty cool. If this was affordable, I'd have to at least consider it. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.